so in this video we will see how you can create your own component so first of all what is the component we have been using multiple elements like text view input text etc in react native project so these all are nothing but the components they are predefined components and we can we can use them di directly the biggest advantage of an component is the reusability once you created the component you can reuse the multiple times you don't need to create every time you write a new code so first of all create a react native project and open it in visual studio code and run it on an simulator i have open an ios simulator you can also run it on android simulator if you are using windows machine and simply run the app by npm start so first of all what uh, what we were doing was that uh, uh, we create we 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 uh, uh, we, uh, we were writing all the elements all the components directly into app.js file like view component text component input text etc now what we will do is that we create a new component and we write our all the app specification in that component and then we import that component into here and use it so first of all let us create a new component just create a new file let me name it greeting okay so first of all we need to import react you also provide the extension of JS react from react have view and text react native let's also import this style provide the path okay so now we need to write export statement export default will be going to declare a function and it has the same name as our component greeting and we will be returning the view let's provide this style so it is the same as app.js as you can see so now let me just create a text first of all Mm, let us first create a uh, input text okay so text input let me also import use state 
so we will be creating a state which will uh, hold the name enter by the user and on the button click it will app will simply greet the user name set name Houston will be an empty string okay so text input let's provide a placeholder name on change of text whatever name user enters will be saving thing into set name let us provide a style for the text input let's provide padding of 20 background color of let's say yellow style is equal to styles dot input let me just save it you are not saying anything over here because we have not yet imported the greeting component into app.js let me create a button and title of the button will let's say greet and on press event we will be console log log name okay so let me just save it now we go back to web.js here let me just import the component that we have created creating from and the path Great. now that we have created this component we can use this component multiple times so in app.js we will simply use this component as we have been using predefined component and let me just save it as you can see let me just enter my name as you can see over here so let me just delete it as you can see let me use it two times now uh, you can see we have two screens just we have created in this one so this is the biggest advantage of create your own component once we create this own component let's say in the real life application when you have multiple screens and you have to use this type of view and the functionality in multiple screens so you can simply create this one as a component and you can use it multiple times so that's it for this video thanks for watching it